The Taxonomy of the Blackfly Kingdom, Animalia Phylum, Arthropoda Subphylum, Hexapoda Class, Insecta Order, Diptera Suborder, Nematocera Infraorder, Culisomorpha Superfamily, Chironomiata And Family, Tumulidae Anatomy of the black fly. Black flies have small robust bodies with a humped back. Black flies are divided into the head, thorax, and abdomen. Black flies have a set of wings on their thorax. As well, they have halters, which are responsible for balance in flight. They have a set of forelegs, middle legs, and hind legs, which are all broken up into the coxa, trochanter, femur, tibia, and tarsus. The black flies are members of Nematocera and have antennae that aren't terribly long. The black fly has a set of well-developed compound eyes. Males especially have large eyes and larger heads. Black flies have short mouth parts and do not penetrate too deep in the skin. They form a blood pool from which they lap from, making them telmophages. The important mouth parts include the labium, which is modified to serve action as a sponge. Other mouth parts include the labrum, maxilla, and the mandible. Although, it is important to add that only the females bite. River blindness is caused by a parasite called Onchocerca volvulus. Let me first dis discuss its life cycle. A female black fly of the Simulium genus takes a blood meal on an infected human host where it ingests the microfilaria. The ingested microfilaria then develop into the first larval stage in the fly's gut and thoracic flight muscles. There, it also develops into the second larval stage. The third larval stage occurs after it, is, it has moved into the proboscis and mouth parts and into the saliva of the fly. This maturation takes about seven days. The black fly then travels to another human to take another blood meal and passes the larva into the human host's blood. The larvae then travel into the subcutaneous tissue and molt twice, forming nodules as they mature into adult worms. This takes from 6 to 12 months. After maturation, the adult worms mate to produce 700 to 1500 microfilaria per day. These microfilaria migrate to the skin during the day where they can get ingested by the female black fly. Once ingested, the cycle can then restart. Somewhere around 17 to 25 million people are infected with the Onchocerca volvulus, and around 800,000 experience some loss of vision. Complete blindness is reported in about 300,000 of those cases. River blindness is endemic in 30 African countries, in Yemen, and in some South American countries, but 99% of river blindness cases have occurred in Africa. This disease is much more severe along major rivers. According to the World Health Organization, river blindness has not caused a single death. Uh, it is, however, a very debilitating disease. Prevention and Control Prevention When it comes to dealing with black flies, prevention is key. You can prevent getting bitten by these flies by doing the following. Always wear insect repellent when you are outside. Make sure that it contains a high percentage of DEET and you can also buy clothes impregnated with repellents. Avoid being outside in peak periods, which include mornings, late afternoons, and early evenings during the summer. 
wear light colored clothing since they are attracted to darker colors and shades. Wear a heat net to protect your face and neck from bites. While this gear isn't the most glamorous, it is the most effective in protecting you. Control. To date, there is little to control the population of black flies. However, here are some of the techniques that can be used to help with population control. Small stream and creeks can be partially dammed. Stopping the flow of water would lower the fly population since larvae need moving water to survive. Clearing the streams and creeks from brush debris will help be helpful in decreasing the black fly population. Not only do the larvae need flowing water, they also need something to attach themselves to while they are developing. Mosquito dunks or BTI can be applied to a small creek or stream. This is not always a very effective method since the dunk has to be timed properly and the dunks need to be dispersed throughout the water every 50 to 100 feet, making it inconvenient and pricey.